my name is Hank. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about using the Yong Nua equipment for the purpose of uh, using remote control flashes by the means of radio control. Okay, um, if, if you want to use original um, Canon equipment, Canon makes a transmitter called the STE3-RT and that transmitter, much like this one, uh, transmit the necessary info to the remote control and also uh, activates it um, by radio control. In order to do that, you need one of the flashes that is capable of radio control. So it become a slave in that case uh, and receive the radio signal and send back uh, the signal as well as, uh, you know, fired upon command. Um, there's nothing really wrong with uh, the Canon equipment as a Mac. Matter of fact, it is very much preferred, except for the cost. Okay, a, a remote control like the STE3RT uh, costs about uh, two hundred and sixty dollars. Okay, and um, the flash Canon has three kinds of flashes that that is capable of radio control. Number one is the six hundred EXRT, which is the, the the oldest one that they had that is radio control capable. Recently they came out with the Mark II version of 600 EXRT. I have the original 600 EXRT version here with me. And then um, they also came out with a, a smaller cousin called 430 EX uh, Mark III. That is radio control. That's about it. So now today we are not going to talk about Canon equipment. We are exploring an economical way of doing basically the same thing. So, and there are many options for you to choose. Except I'm going to talk about the Young Nua option. Okay, so just the Young Nua. Okay, I have mounted here on top of my 5D Mark III camera is a Young Nua. Uh, controller. The Yongnuo controller, uh, I'm looking at my note here for the name, I don't want to give you the wrong name here. Uh, this is called the YN-E3-RT transmitter, which is designed to duplicate the original Canon um, uh, STE3-RT uh, transmitter. It, the real main difference between the Yongnu and the Canon is just the cost. Basically, uh, the Canon version costs 260. It used to cost more, uh, and this one costs 85. Essentially, doing the same thing. Okay, like I said, we're exploring economical means. So, so, okay, so that's the controller. How about the flash? As I mentioned, the Canon flash like this is um, $500. Okay, so the uh, 430 Mark III is um, slightly cheaper, around maybe $260, but it's still uh, quite pricey as you see. And um, for example, I don't know about you, I prefer to get the biggest you know, uh, the, the most light output possible. So therefore I usually don't go for the smaller version. So uh, the 600 here, you know, actually when I bought this it cost me like $600 when it first came out. Um, very pricey. Now the Yongnuo. Yongnuo makes uh, basically a carbon copy uh, version of the 600 EXRT. I have another video, if, if you want to look for it, um, that talk at, at length about the differences between the two uh, kind of flash. So we don't need to belabor today. But So you need one of these. And um, 
as we discussed, um, 500, 600 to 500 dollars um, uh, flash for Canon, 125 for this. It's essentially the same. Okay, so that's the economical. Now, so um, you might want to ask, um, what about if I had an older flash that is not radio capable, do I have to get rid of it and buy the radio capable one? Actually, that is, in my opinion, the preferred method is just to get rid of the old one and, uh, and get a, um, a radio uh, capable. However, if you don't want to do that, um, Young New actually, Canon doesn't make it, but Young New actually makes uh, an adapter that, that will turn your old optical only flash unit into a uh, radio control. Okay, so with me, I also have an old um, Canon um, uh, 580EX Mark II, which is the previous version before 600EXRT came out. Okay, and this one is only capable of optical control, There's no such thing as radio. And Yong Nuo happened to mix this little device, and it's called the YNE3-RX, which is a receiver. Okay, it's designed to mount on the old flash like that. And this thing is fully capable of ETTL and everything else. So, so it is full controllable. Turn this unit into a radio control unit. And this little guy only costs $40. So we have a transmitter that costs $85. This one that costs $40. And you can essentially change your non-RT capable um, equipment into an RT capable. It's that simple. Uh, later I will show you how everything works. Now the beauty of the Young Nuo system is that for example this controller here is fully compatible with the original Canon unit meaning that this one will control this one beautifully in all aspects of it, fully compatible. So, so if you already have a Canon one, you don't have to go get a Young Nuo, you know what I mean? Even though one of these can buy three of the Young Nuo's easily. Um, also, as I mentioned, um, an old Canon unit with the adapter here, the receiver, is fully capable and is fully functional. And of course, if, if you get one of these young new unit, and this one and this one work very well together. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this one. Actually, in some way, the, the young new transmitter here, the $85 unit versus the $260 Canon unit, uh, is actually superior than the Canon unit in one aspect. That you see this this um, this dark red um, panel. This is um, the infrared port that is used to send out a infrared beam for the purpose of uh, assisting in focus. You know, in the old um, Canon um, control for optical, the the STE2 RT. Uh, it actually had one, but for some inexplicable reason, Canon decided to get rid of it on the, the newer STE3RT, which is the radio control unit. So a lot of people are very unhappy about that. Young Nuo solves that problem. It, it, it is here. It's actually working very well. So, um, so in some way, a cheaper unit is a better unit, in my opinion. Um, with that, I'm going to go into how to set it all up and give you a quick demonstration. And that will be the second part of, of our video. Okay, thank you. Okay, here uh, we are looking at the um, Yongnuo YN-E3-RT, which is the uh, uh, transmitter 
controller for the remote flashes okay so I'll turn it on okay it goes to it remembers the last mode that it was in and um, right now I have uh, this thing at uh, at uh, group mode GR mode this is my favorite mode and I basically just use this mode and nothing else so I'm gonna show you this group mode rather than some other mode okay so um, group mode shows you obviously all of the groups that it could uh, control uh, the flash you know you can classify you, you, you can put one or more flashes into each of the group so basically there are five groups um, Canon has five groups that you can control in each of the five groups you can have I believe you know up to uh, either three I believe it's like three flashes so you can actually with this controller you can control up to 15 flashes at a time and um, you can individually um, um, control the power output for each of the groups so basically 15 uh, five different groups so five different uh, power settings if you want okay so um, so the group um, it start out with A and then you can scroll it down to A B C D E and that's it um, and uh, for each of the group you could control the the setting okay for example ETTL and you can do the um, exposure compensation here I don't know if you can see it too well um, or you could change the mode to manual or change to external A and back to ETTL so and then you can control individual power for for each of the groups as we mentioned before so um, in this one I am going to go up here to the beginning okay and right now um, I set this one I don't know if you can read with the light turned on very well but okay now light turn off you can see that uh, it is in master mode that's what we want because we want to use this as a master controller and all of the remote flashes uh, will be slaves okay so I'm gonna turn on one of the flashes and I don't know if you can see Okay, so this is the flash. Okay, I have uh, set this one up so that um, they all, you know, ID 1, 2, 3, 4 at channel 3. So as soon as I turn this one on, um, they link up. Okay, I don't know if you can see the green light there. The green light. Uh, turns green that signify that that uh, they linked up and um, this happened to be group D so you can't really see D from here without changing it so I'm gonna move it down and show you something neat Okay, as you can see that you see that little, little lightning bolt that signify that okay so I got group D linked okay and here group D happened to have just just one flash okay now here I have um, an optical flash here 580 EX uh, 
which uh, comes with the adapter as I mentioned before. Now I haven't turned this one on yet so I'm go going to do that. Turn the adapter off and I don't know if you can see it but it's set group B channel 3. Okay, and you see that green light over here. The green light again indicates that, that it is linked up. And as you can see over here, okay, group B had the uh, lightning bolt there. And that signifies that it is linked up. So I got, right now I got two groups, two flash. Uh, each group is one flash. So I got two flash, two groups already linked up. And I'm put it aside. Here's another one. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. As you can see, uh, this one also just turned green and it linked up. And you can see here that's group C. So um, it is that easy once you set the channel uh, to the same, which uh, in this case I set everything to channel 3 and the ID, um, all of them to be the same. I set all of these to ID 1, 2, 3, 4. And linking up is that as easy as just turning it on. It remembers. So now I have uh, three flashes linked up. I'm going to do one more. And uh, this one here is another young Yongnuo. And this is uh, group A, and as you can see from the, the green light, is all linked up. Right now I set everything to ETTL. So, um, so you can see that's how easy it is to link everything up. And in ETTL mode, you just set the exposure control from your camera, and as you shoot, the system is going to measure everything and give you a fairly decent um, exposure without you having to worry about it. Okay, so that's that's the idea. And uh, this one here, you can see I can scroll it up to A, and uh, it shows that A, B, C, and then you got to scroll down to tell, but they all linked up. Um, and right now I have it set at master and high speed sync. Okay, so it will automatically tells all of the slave units to uh, to go into high speed sync. You don't even need to set them, except that you set them to slave, and the rest of it is taken care of. So, and um, I'll show you when I press a button, and everything will go off. Uh, all right. Okay, so you can see, uh, this is a camera, when I shoot, here everything goes off, that's a wireless control.